Hello everybody, this is Mario Boruto, episode 26. Spoilers if you've not watched this episode. So Boruto in the class, and Kugara, they're walking down the aisles, and guess what we see? Lady May! The former Mizukage. Yep, they go, and then they enter the Mizukage office! And I'm like, whoa, I guess, yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen the, what, well, not, but you know, at the Leaflet Village has ever been there like that. Just like it's the norm. Well, the thing is, they unified, everyone's, you know, in a piece. Before, I was like, yeah, it'd be very shocking to get, you know, the Mist Village to ever be on good terms with the Hidden Leaf Village. Right now, Chojuro, he's talking, the Mizukage, the new one, and Boruto's like, ooh, and so I was like, what are you doing? It's just not like me to pay attention, and then he listens, like, oh, I know, it's boring. Let's go to the Academy. So they go to the Ninja Academy, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> they're actually fighting on water. Because they have, they know how to, you know, control their chakra. But they're, you know, practicing with their swords, kendotes. And then we find out the backstory that, well, I'll say it in a minute. Well, actually, no, because they were talking about the seven swordsmen of the hidden mist. And that Kuga is one of the swordsmen. And what happened when he was given a speech, Tororo, he was trying to bring unity. And, like, you know, uplifting leadership and stuff. And then he said, like, Kuga. I want you, you know I want you to be my predecessor. And he's like, I'm not meant to lead. And I'm like, ooh, a hidden swordsman and the future maybe Misokage. So now Boruto, he sees all this, he's hyped, he's like, yeah, let's spar. So he has his kendo, and so does Kugura, and they're sparring, and he's like, he's like, I don't see an opening, and he charges him, knocks it out. But when you see him, I'm like, whoa, the bloodlust is there. I'm like, calm down there, this ain't the blood, Miss Village. <laughs> so next they go to the memorial, I guess from the third Ninja Great War. They paid their respects. And then there were some guys right there, some punks, that wanted to ruin everything. Because Kyugara was giving a little lessons, but before that, Iwabe was like, my grandfather died fighting you guys in the war. And he apologizes, and he's like, this is what getting me mad. You don't shit and apologize. You weren't even there. And then these guys are like trying to pick a fight, and then Boruto is trying to be peacemaker. He's like, wait, you're from the Uzumaki clan. If I get you, I'll be famous. So he tries, and then Uwabe gets him. He's like, you want to get yours? He uses, you know, makes it into rock. And he's like, you'll pay for that. So the next moment is Denki. He's out shop shopping all about, you know, being all carefree. They kidnap. And then next it goes to the hotel room where Boruto, Shindai, and Misuki, they're all just having fun. And then... There's blood st scattered on the window, and it tells him if you want him back, meet me at this place. And then we see Denki being tied up. I'm like, oh. Damn. Well, I can't wait for next week's episode. Those are the moments I liked. Please comment, and subscribe, and take care.